Hey guys, welcome back to the Sonic Fan Game Showcase and my coverage of Sage 2024. Today we're here looking at not really a fan game, more of a mod, but you know, whatever. We're here looking at Sonic Adventure Blast 2. Now, I have looked at this game's original game here on the backlog before. I've played the entire way through Sonic Robo Blast 2 a couple of years ago, and, you know, I love that Sonic fan game. That is a great Sonic fan game. Well, this is, I guess, a fan game all of its own, because it doesn't really have the content from Sonic Robo Blast 2. It's very similar to the Sonic Robo Blast 2 mod I looked at last year in Sage 2023. That one, I believe, was Sonic the Gunslinger. Well, this one is Sonic Adventure Blast 2, and this one aims to just kind of outright recreate a lot of the levels from the Adventure series plus Heroes, into the Sonic Robo Blast 2 engine. Now, this has been done many times before, but this one's meant to be like a big, just like combining of like all of them. I'm not sure if it has a story, but you know, we've got Sonic here just hanging out on the beach, I guess, which I know that's how Sonic Adventure 1 after you beat Chaos began. So, yeah. Either way, uh, controller support right out the gate. We've got an arcade mode, a mission mode, an extra mode, or just extra settings, and an exit. Now, the settings. They're a bit all over the place. We got V-Sync, FPS, FOV, sound effects, particles, bunch of stuff. You can get to select what controller you're using. And I just fucked myself over. That's not what I want to do. PS5 controller. There you go. Let me play. Let me use it. <laughs> let me use it. Square is actually the back button, which is weird. You can't use the D-pad. You have to use the stick. The extra mode actually shows a lot of different things. It shows your playtime, total rings... Ring completion, NPC completion, Chaos Emeralds, ranks, arcade mode, time, true ending time, and game completion. So if there's 131 A ranks, there must be theoretically 131 levels in this pack. That's fucking incredible. There's also seven Chaos Emeralds. Sadly, we're not going to be doing all of those for Sage. We're just going to be doing a look at some of the cool ones. But, you know, that's amazing that there's so many levels. So if you guys want, like a game to be playing for a while this Sage, I definitely recommend this one. But either way, let's check out the arcade. Tutorial one, tutorial mission one, learn the basics. This actually reminds me a lot of Sonic World now. Are we sure this is Sonic Roboblast? This shit's like in 3D. Let me see, what is it saying? Press the A button to jump. Okay, this is kind of cool. Press and hold the X button to heal out. Or I guess just spin dash. Damn. Is this built off of Sonic Roblast 2? Because it's said to be. I don't know what the fuck they did or what kind of magic they performed. <laughs> but it does not feel like that. It feels like a completely different game in and of itself. But it's running off Roblast 2 code, I believe, though. So that's why it's confusing. I'm like, what? I'm like, what the hell is going on? This is impressive. Let's see. I didn't even mention who made this pack. Let me go ahead and get their name out. Yeah, you're going to see a black screen for a second. Sorry. That's kind of the problems of running a game in full screen. Uh, got all the classic Sonic music, though. Let me see. All right, this is made by GG Games. Let's see. Um... What? The screenshots on here do not replicate what I'm playing currently. Huh. So, what's going on? So this is not actually running off the Sonic Adventure, Sonic Roll Blast 2 thing. It's actually not at all. Okay. Sorry, GG Games. Fuck that one up. When you name it after that, Sonic... Adventure Blast 2, it reminds me of Sonic Robo Blast 2, so that's why I got confused. But apparently, is this... Am I I think I'm playing the correct game. This is actually not running off of the, uh... Running off of the Robo Blast 2 engine, it's actually running off of the Velocity engine. Maintain a high speed to run on walls. But yeah, this is running off of a completely different engine. And I, I was like, wait, Robo Blast 2 can't do this type of 3D. It can do 3D, but it can't do this. I was just like, what in the shit? So yeah, this is not running off that. Even though the name really would confuse people to think it's running off of that engine. Maybe it was at some point during its early development. Who knows? But it's definitely not running off of it now. But the screenshots on the uh, 
on the website. Do not replicate what's going on here. Press X will on air to bounce. Damn. I mean, it does replicate the feeling of a Sonic Adventure game pretty well, but this is playing, like, super nicely. Press A after a jump to do that. Press... Keep A held to cancel speed on contact. There you go. But yeah, this is playing, like, super nicely. Like, this is great. Press X. Hold X while on a grinding to gain speed. Alright. But yeah, this plays very similar to the adventure games. And I... Uh, this... The feeling is, like, really good. I really like this for some reason. You did good, GG Games. Unless, Well, this is just a framework, but still. Press Y to do the air dash. Now it feels like a great air dash. Yeah, this really does feel like an adventure game. They've got the controls down completely, and I think that's just probably because of the engine that it's running on, but, like, this is still really good. And then at the same time, like, the graphics ain't bad at all. What they chose to include in here really fits it pretty well, even though we're in like a like a Mario tunnel now. I'm not quite sure. But this is said to be running on the Velocity Engine, or at least this is the build that was put up for Sage. So, I don't know what's going on there, but like, <laughs> whatever, I guess. You can also run on water. Damn. Let's see, we did it. And we did it, boys! We made it to the goal. Why is he fucking dab? That's fucking horrible. I hate that. Uh, uh, instant 0 out of 10. Instant 0 out of 10. Dry Lagoon Mission 1. Oh, damn. It doesn't... It doesn't just recreate the, uh... The running stages. It also recreates the rest of the stages. Damn. Die. There you go. Alright, well, we gotta do an adventure-style... Smash and grab levels, so that's great. I'll find them. I'm good at this in the actual game, so... Theoretically, I'll find it again. Is it in here? Nope. It's somewhere around here. Oh, damn, it's close. It's close. There we go, one. It's somewhere over here. It's close, I can feel it. But yeah, they actually recreated the rest of it. I mean, it, it did say adventure, so it's like, it would make sense if they had based it off of every single control style. Where is it? Am I getting closer? I'm getting further away, okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, well, now we just need to get on the turtle. No, go back up, do not go down. Let me, let me, let me go to the other side. Why can't I get on the turtle? I'm like, why can't I get on the turtle? Stand on the turtle and punch to travel. Okay, so it just kind of does that. Oh, it's just right behind me. Damn, that was quick. He dabs as well. Go fuck yourself, game. <laughs> go fuck yourself, game. Now you get a negative 10. <laughs> nah. Go fuck yourself. Cloud Temple mission. So now we actually get to play as Tails and Physics Conundrum. Wait, how do you fly? Tails, how do you fly? Press B repeatedly after jumping for a short time. So it kind of implements a homing attack into Tails' gameplay. But he's still got, like, his infinite fly stuff from Adventure 1. So this is more like an Adventure 1. No, no shooting level. Okay, I'm trying to... Just trying to close that... Yeah, but yeah, this game has, like, really, really good physics. I mean, then again, I'm not the man to go to to figure out if a physics is good or not, but damn, I'm having a lot of fun with this already. I just, I just feel like the, uh, the feel of it just feels right. At the same time, like, it's got pretty okay level design. It's not the best level design in the world, but it's, like, it's, like, something. Also, Chaos Emerald. Damn, I got a Chaos Emerald. Awesome. Even though that's that probably isn't really a Chaos Emerald. It's probably just like a picture of a Chaos Emerald. Also, this is really cool. I like this. Damn. Running on the side of like this big thing. It's like you cannot stop your momentum. You need to go fast if you're going to get around this thing. Damn. This makes me feel like it's like Sonic Lost World now. 
music's a bit, I mean, the music is just music from Sonic games, so it's not like it's going to change much, but it's like, damn, it's kind of basic, but <laughs> gameplay is a lot of fun. Like, it's putting me, it's putting me through the puzzles of the mind, I tell ya. Damn. I definitely recommend this one, and with the fact that there's, like, 131 levels, theoretically, unless, well, there could be multiple missions per level. That could be true. But damn. I'm fucked. Okay, well... There we go. Still, I was having a lot of fun right there, just going. I'm like, damn. We're keeping our momentum up, game. I'm guessing this is why we're, like, having to run down this spiral, is trying to make that giant gap. Don't worry, we'll make it. Somehow. Come on. Does Tails ever get tired? Doesn't seem like he ever does. Oh, he does at some point. Tails, you better not- Oh, die. <laughs> He's just putting it in his face. He's like, dab into my soul. It's like, good job, Tails. Emerald Coast Mission 1. Cruise the coast. Damn. I mean, if they're just recreating all of the Sonic Adventure levels, then I'm okay with that. <laughs> you know, just more Sonic Adventure representation. I am A-OK -okay with that, because it deserves more. And there's always, like, a massive amount of, like, Sonic fan games that always reference the classic games. But then again, I didn't grow up with the classic games. I grew up with the Dreamcast era, so it's like... Yeah, that's, that's how I grew up with Sonic. So it's like, when I get to see fun things about that era of Sonic... I just, I have fun with it. Somehow I survived! I don't think I was supposed to have survived, but I did anyway. Either way, I just think the physics are a lot of fun. And now, like, the, uh, the level design's becoming, like, a lot more complicated, which, you know, I'm a big fan of. That's one thing a framework wouldn't be able to do for you. The developer himself, or their selves, has to, like, you know, come up with the shit themselves. So it's like, yeah. This is their representation of their work. Damn. I just like, I like the idea of running upside down and all this shit. Like, usually, like, like, fucked up physics and Sonic levels are not all that great, but this, this, this does pretty goddamn good at, like, copying them, even though I'm fucked. Even though I'm fucked. Damn. But yeah, I already messed up, like, what this game even was, and I said the, the engine it's running on is something completely different. Come on! Fuck. I'm like, fuck. Please let me have infinite lives. Aw, they have to make me do a live system. <laughs> Can't I just get infinite lives? Okay, um... We need to go fast enough to make the jump. And there we go. <laughs> that was close. Can I have, like, a checkpoint over here? It took me a while to get over here. There we go. Go over here. Get over here. Is there going to be a whale? Yes! It doesn't break anything, which is kind of sad, but you know. At least there is some representation of whale. Of whale hatred. Okay, that didn't get me up there. I'm guessing they wanted me to be going faster for that one. There we go. Damn. But I'm glad that they didn't just make, like, the same levels over again. Like, they, they actually did make some unique levels for these things. Like, it's not the same thing as Emerald Coast from Adventure 1. It's like... It's like its own thing. Though then again, I think the platforming over, like, high ledges... I'm not the biggest fan of that. Because <laughs> it doesn't seem like Sonic's jump really brings them all that far. So it's like I'm having, like, homing attack to try and... make the rest of the way for me. And then I, uh, oh boy, they're trying to get around in midair. They're trying to turn around in midair. It doesn't turn on a dime. So therefore, I can't actually dodge a lot of shit. There we go. Okay. Because I feel like Sonic loses a shit ton of momentum in midair. Okay. I hate everything. 
Let me live! <laughs> Sonic was like, nah, you don't get to be alive. And that starts all over again. Damn. Alright, mission mode. Ah, oh, that's cool. You got Sonic, and then you got Tails, and then you got Knuckles. Okay. Well, there's a lot. Okay, there is a lot of courses. There is so much shit to do. What in the ball? <laughs> so each character has seven Chaos Emeralds to get through? Or has an amount of Chaos Emeralds? Damn. So it's like, instead of going through the arcade mode, I can go through the, uh, through the mission mode to get all the stuff instead of having to, like, try and survive. Boink. Get back here, you. I've come to kill. Let's see, where's the emerald? Oh, there it is. This one started getting close. I'm close. There it is. The randomized locations are a bit odd. I mean, isn't it weird to say that I can beat, like, treasure hunting levels? No prob. But it's, like, regular Sonic levels? No, I can't do that all that easily without dying a million times. I guess it just goes to show where my skill set is. Let's see. I love the glide in this. The glide goes very far. I like it. Where am I going? That's a good question. Where am I? Okay, so it's somewhere in this area. I'm guessing it's maybe just inside one of the robots? But then again, I haven't been getting any closer to anything. Let me see. Let's see if these actually work. Do you work? Oh. Oh, okay. What? It doesn't... It, it doesn't pause the game when that happens? Okay, well this... Okay, a little bit of a physics conundrum right there, but now I understand. It's on top of one of these, like, pedestals. Somewhere. Alright, it's right here. Damn. <laughs> Why do they have to dab? I hate that. Why do you gotta dab? But yeah, the pictures from the thing don't seem to be copying what I'm seeing in the video game. Like, it's still really fun, but, like... This is, like, very... Is this different? No, this is different. Okay, I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am completely confused on who made this video game. Who who made what I'm playing? Very unprofessional of me. Very unprofessional. Um... Who made this? Who made this video game? You know, I don't know. Did I find this in a garbage can? I was just like, this is the best video game of all time. Here it is. Okay. It was right next to that other one. So, Sonic Adventure Blast 2. Okay, this looks a little bit more familiar to what I'm seeing. What is this built off of? So, Sonic Adventure Blast 2 was actually made by a guy named Chubba Bubba. Uh, okay. So, there's actually 80 missions. There's 20 levels between the three characters. So yeah, I is this act what 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 is this built off of? Hmm. I don't really understand. I think this is actually built off of Sonic Blast Two. At least I believe so. Or is it? No, I don't think it actually is. Built was made in a fully custom engine coded in C plus plus. So no, this is built off of its own, completely own engine. It's its completely own thing. Damn. Well, props to you, Chubba Bubba. You are, you are way more powerful than I could ever be, because you've made something that's like super fun to play, and also something I completely confused myself about. So that's a, that's a good combo. Well, at least I want to beat all of the, uh, I want to beat all of the treasure hunting stages. Of course, I can't beat every single stage in the game. I could if I want to do multiple different videos, which who knows, maybe I do want to do. Also, that other game that I was looking at that I got this game confused with also looks cool. So I'm probably going to look at that for Sage at some point. Whatever the hell it was, it looked cool. But this one's still pretty fun on its own. This is like super fun. 
You must die. Where is the Chaos Emerald? Where is that damn Chaos Emerald? Oh, it's up here. I'm getting there. Theoretically. There it is. There we go. But yeah, this is like super fun. I love that there's like multiple different gameplay styles. I mean, I'm just like a giant fan of like treasure hunting gameplay. So it's just like, it just works out well for me. You've made something amazing, Chubba Bubba. This is like, I mean, if I were making a ranking of the games I've played so far on Sage this year, which I'm probably not going to do because that's mean, but I'm going to do anyway because I am mean. Uh, like there's Sonic Rush 3D. There's this, and then I also played that Sonic fighting game, the Knuckles Quest, and uh, there's one, uh, is this under, oh, it's, oh, okay, it's underneath us, and then the Silver the Hedgehog game, like, Sonic Rush 3D would go on top, but this one would go, like, a close second right now, but then again, I don't like to compare that stuff just because it's dumb, it's like, everybody else is making their own stuff, I shouldn't compare one person's work to another is just because I really like another person's work. So it's like, yeah. Oh, there it is. Found it. Let me up. Let me up. <laughs> the fucking dab. I hate that. I hate that shit, man. <laughs> Random egg pot. Okay. So let's go for Delfino Plaza. I just like that it's like, it's not just adventure. It's like a bunch of different levels from a bunch of different video games. Like, Delfino Plaza would probably make a really good, like, treasure hunting stage. I can't disagree. Wait, it's... Wait, it's down here? It's in the jail cell. Okay. Bam! How do I get in there? Damn. Yeah, Delfino Plaza would work really well as, like, a treasure hunting stage. I just think it's, like, fun to run around his knuckles... He's rougher than the rest of them. Where is this next one? <laughs> Just the calming music of Delfino Plaza. Okay, I'm getting close. It's close. Is it in here? I can't... I can't tell. Is it up here? I can't go in there, apparently. Okay, so it's down near this area. Might need your help. There it is. Okay. I'm brain dead. A little bit brain dead. Now I just gotta find that last emerald. I'm getting close. Oh, it's right over there. I see it. How could I see that? I mean, I guess it's because it's on like a like a white backdrop. I'd probably be able to see it. There we go. You're gonna dab <laughs> the dab. But yeah, I definitely find this one like super fun. And it's impressive they're able to make it on their own custom engine. Like it reminds me a bit of like a bunch of different engines, but like the game, like the physics are just like built pretty damn good. Pretty damn good, in my opinion. But it's like, damn, this is impressive. Definitely like this. If I could just make an entire series off this, I'd probably have a lot of fun with it. But yeah. Because I wonder, like, what happens when you get the Chaos Emeralds? Let me see. Walk my way up here. This level is very big. I don't know how I'm going to figure out where I need to go. Let me see. Oh, there's one. Is this close? Somewhat close. Is it a oh, where am I? I'm like, where am I? <laughs> oh god. Yeah, this is definitely like a ton of fun. I'm having like a shit ton of fun with this. So this is not actually the Sonic Mod Showcase, this is actually the Sonic Fan Game Showcase, which I correctly said, I guess. Damn, this is like at the top of everything. It's up here. I must go even higher. Damn, okay. Where's this last one? Okay, that is not very helpful at all, but I'll try with what I got. Oh, I see it. It's up there. 
<laughs> if only I was forced to platform, then it would actually be a lot harder to get up there. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> Knuckles, how the fuck did you get up there? You sick bastard, you climbed up there. I got B B B B B B B B. So yeah, uh, there are multiple different missions for each of these, but uh, you know, I'm okay with not having to get all of them. Let's see, any cool Sonic levels that I've forgotten about Let's, that I haven't seen yet? Twinkle Circuit, Sacred Sky, Sky Rail, Frog Forest. They've just got a bunch of cool stuff. Let's try, for our final level, let's do the Sacred Sky. I don't know what's going to happen here. It's like Rainbow Road. Oh god, you just go fast. I like that. Ooh, <laughs> I like the set pieces. Damn, this just goes and goes and goes, doesn't it? Either way, I had a shit ton of fun with this fan game, and I definitely recommend it, as it seems like there is a shit ton of things to do in here. You've got a bunch of levels, a bunch of missions, three different gameplay styles, chaos emeralds to collect, like a true ending to reach. Like, that's going to be pretty goddamn cool. Damn, I don't know how I figured that out, but... uh, There we go. But yeah, I definitely think this is probably one of the best ones from Sage so far. I definitely am a big fan of this already. You know, contemplating playing through all of it, but I definitely can't do it for this year's Sage. But... Who knows, maybe at another time. Maybe at another time, another place. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed Sonic Adventure Blast 2 by Chubba Bubba. This was a ton of fun. So, either way, I don't have much else to say other than I'm going to die soon. <laughs> so, I'll have to see you guys next time on the Sonic Fan Game Showcase and our coverage of Sage 2024. And before I end this episode, I want to thank all of my YouTube members, including the Disciples of Epsilon, Valric, Amber, and Phoenix, the Epsilon Sage, Spirit Rosewolf. Without you all, this channel would not stay afloat, so thank you for all your support, and I'll see you guys next time on The Backlog.